Well, hey guys, I'm really excited today to bring you the new Eastern Woods Outdoors Ultralight Stick. Some of you guys have seen this on the site before. I'm really proud to unveil this brand new offering because now Dano is making it available in Hydra Diff Graphics for the same price that the anodized one was before. All parts are anodized, uh, but now you get a, uh, the advantage of having a camo pattern on here. Now, this is a, uh, a camo pattern he put together to let me show it to you guys. Uh, it's actually going to be available in a True Timber Strata, which looks almost exactly like the Sitka Evo, and it will absolutely disappear on a tree. But this is a great example to show you of, of just how slick, how sharp, uh, uh, it is, is a really good looking stick. Uh, I, I know sometimes uh, you, you, there's a blend, there's people who are just functionality, functionist people that they just want to get up a tree or whatever. There's other people who like their gear to look really good while they're doing it. Uh, this is the best of both worlds really. Uh, if you've never seen uh, Dano sticks, they are awesome. It's all 6061 aluminum made here in the USA. All parts, everything is made in Michigan. Um, it has proprietary fluting in it, so it, it reduces some, some more weight. We're going to take it inside, put it on the scale here in a little bit, show you the depth of the standoffs. People love Dano standoffs. They order them by the dozens, if you will, because they're some of the deepest standoffs in the industry, and if you've got bigger feet, they really allow you to get up there on the tree and, and face forward, not have to straddle it like a duck. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're awesome. Uh, you can get these in angled uh, steps or straight. I prefer step straight because as I'm going up, I, I just don't want to stand, again, like a duck or, or you know, at a, at a weird angle. Uh, I've got, I, I put, personally, I put this uh, quarter-inch am steel on here. works really, really well to uh, create that Chinese finger trap and, and as, as a rope mod here. It, it does come available with uh, woven daisy chain. We'll, we'll show you that uh, webbing to go around the, the stick, the tree. But I'll show you later on if you, need, if you need me to, hit me up and I'll show you how to make this really simple rope mod here. It's six foot long and it, and it packs really super well. We'll show you that, how, how easy this rope mod packs up. But uh, guys, this is an awesome, awesome stick. Uh, let's let's put it on the scale. Let's show you some of the some of the particulars for it. $115 for this stick is not a uh, it's it's not a super super cheap option, but it is one of the best sticks out there. I've been using it for for a while. Um, a buddy of mine had had some some of these. I've been using all season, and I got these in about a week ago. And I've personally been using this set of sticks for about a week. Uh, awesome awesome step. So stick around. We'll show you all the details about it. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the scale now. Uh, if you've seen my product reviews before, one of the things I love to do is wet with the, uh, the attachment method without. So we will actually go ahead and remove the Versa button so I can take this M seal rope off, just so we can be totally 100% honestly fair of what these things weigh without that. Because you may want not want to use M steel, you may want to use something else, even though this M seal probably only weighs like two or three ounces at best. But let's, uh, let's turn our scale on here, make sure it's zeroed out. And we'll get a weight of what this puppy weighs. Go ahead and loop this uh, amsoil around so that it's not dragging the floor. That way we weigh it all. And it looks like it's 1.78. So 1.78, if you can see that on scale. That is with six foot of amsoil. Uh, tag in, so it's actually a little bit more because I had to use some to splice and bury and all that stuff like that. So 1.78. Okay, we've just removed the am steel here just so we get an absolutely true weight of this stick. Again, turn it on, make sure it's zeroed out. One point six six. So without the am steel, this stick weighs one point six six pounds. Okay, guys, I am fully cognizant and aware that uh, Dano's Featherlight sticks are going to draw some instant comparisons and questions to uh, the Shakar sticks from out on the limb. So let's go ahead and put one of those on a scale. I have totally removed everything. We typically use them with five eighths inch mini flat straps, and I tie it the same way I do am steel. But uh, I've removed that so that we can get a true weight reading here. I believe I've done this before in past videos, but let's have it all in one video here. So, the Shakar is 
six eight. That's uh, without any strap. This car is one point six eight. So compare that to uh, to Dano's Featherlight sticks, and uh, you see it's pretty darn close. So the, the difference is uh, Matt builds his out of solid billet aluminum, and the uh, Featherlights from Dano is a hollow tube. So, but if you can see, and we'll focus in on this here in a second. The standoffs are a little different. Obviously, they're extremely sharp, aggressive teeth on the cars. A um, little different here on the on the feather lights. And let's get a uh, let's get a reading here from the top from a flat surface. You're looking at four inches on the cars as far as the depth to the inside of the of the step. Four inches. And you're looking at four and a half inches, four and a half inches, so you get another half inch of depth on the standoff from the Eastern Woods Outdoors Featherlight Sticks. So hopefully that gives you something to help make a decision on. Guys, it's going to be windy out here. Hopefully we don't get too much feedback through the mic, but uh, the lighting is so much better out here. I want to come out back out on the outside and talk about these. So uh, why are these so awesome? Uh, you know, I mentioned some of it in the intro. The, the proprietary fluting is 6061 aluminum. It basically weighs uh, almost the exact same thing as a Shakar and gives you a half inch more standoff. Uh, you know, the, they stack so, so well. Uh, the standoffs are made to fit right on the tube. And the cool thing about it is Dano left enough room for stealth strips. They actually, if you do not stealth strip them, there, there's a little bit of play in there. Once you put a stealth strip right there, and, and why would you want to get it dipped? Uh, you can just put the whole thing in stealth strip, right? Well, sales strips are anywhere from six to seven dollars, depending on which type you buy them for. If you have four sticks, that's you know four times six. There's twenty-four dollars um, right there extra that that you don't have to pay. All you need is a side, is a, is a piece of sales strip that big, two of them, one here, one there. That's all I've got. These these sticks sales stripped, and and the the standoffs fit exactly really in a really super snug, and and they pack super well. So here's the way. Um, just to show you, here, here's the way that I, I do these with the uh, with, with my rope mod here. Again, I've got them spliced around this first button. They cannot come off. And then when I'm at the bottom of the tree, I just wrap it once, back down twice around the bottom, and I take it and put it up underneath that and pull tight. It's not going anywhere. And then you can stack all three of these on. And I take the bottom one, or the top one rather, and I do not wrap it before I put it on there. I go ahead and, and put it on there, snug it up really good, and then I wrap it around all four of them. So, I'm trying to lift it up here for the camera. It's a little, little tougher holding it, dude, and I just do it on the ground. But once you get them, get this wrapped four times, then I put it back under here and pull. And look, they're not going anywhere. So no, you know, moving parts, anything like that is, that's a really, really super slick system. So again, you don't have to stealth strip the whole thing. Two little bitty strips that big is all you need on, on these. Um, they're 20 inch sticks. You can get them in different sizes. Uh, it does add a little cost if you have them custom cut them or anything like that. Look on the website. But guys, these, uh, these sticks, I'm telling you, they're, probably uh, just being very blunt they're the best I've used so far no flex no wobble no twist no moving parts uh, that this is what I've been carrying to the woods now when I mentioned that I've been using some all year that was stuff that was built out of using all the buying and buying the parts and and assembling them yourself and all this this comes as a kit this comes with everything you need so so you're not trying to figure it out all you gotta do is just one skew number one part number the EWO Featherlight Sticks and Anodize, and you can specify the, the hydro dip or just get black anodized if you don't want that. But they're awesome sticks. So uh, hopefully you enjoy them as much as I have because I've seen a lot of big deer off of them this year, just haven't had anything in range. So we'll keep, keep after it, keep hammering it with the EWO Featherlight Sticks.